Hi guys, welcome to the first episode of the Budget Traveler. My name is Nahash and Diaz. So right now I'm in Nakuru and basically what I want to find out is two things. What activities can I do while here? And number two, what is the cheapest uh, place, actually the cheapest hotel that I can find also while here in Nakuru. So those are the two things I'm going to try and answer in this first episode. Let's go. Dini pate ni mechil na kabinti Form ni mingi Hadi anashanga na sisi Kila siku ya wiki Dead tipsy Na niki get down I blow it all on the whiskey Jack D, Jamie Na blame it on the henny We started out slow Nilikuwa jem levy Ish too crazy Kukumbu kasi wezi Niliji get down Juu ya bed ni meplex Si maso ni mangire Zime nice Dem moja wa wile Zime nice Na mataska mapile Zime nice Maria kwanza ya pile Zime nice Si maso ni mangire Mikrotesikalamuhumuzikindiyokazinaufanyakuhamuhumuzikindiyokazinaufanyakuhamuhumuzikindiyokazinaufanyakuhamuhumuzikindiyokazinaufanyakuhamuhumuzikindiyokaz
when war used to be war, not nowadays people are just flying drones and robots. But what's actually? Still at Sirikwa. Sirikwa Hills. So I'm being told there are some tortoise, tortoises. Is that the plural really? That you can view. So that's where I'm heading now. Yeah, there are several tortoises. Let me show you. Check this out. There's like a dozen of them here. These are just chilling. Makes you wonder who is watching the other. Are we the ones watching them or are they the ones watching us? Yeah. And there's even more. I think that's the end of the road. Since this is a museum, it's owned by the National Museums of Kenya. Rather, they are the ones who manage the place. Even more tortoise. Honestly, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be tortoise or tortoises. I have no idea. So please feel free to laugh at me. And that's it. For the tortoise, uh, you can see another structure in front of me. Let's go and check it out. Oh, here are some guinea falls. Yep, they're on high alert. Check this out. I'm still checking out the guinea falls, but now I think it's time to go to the hills. Like I am being told, there's a top part where from there you can see the entire Nakuru. Like it's like a good landscape place to view Nakuru, and you can also see the national. Uh, sorry, you can also see Lake Nakuru. Yeah, but this place looks really nice and it's cool. Check this. You can just want to sit by the grass and just chill. But especially after being in Nairobi for some time. Sometimes this is all you need, just a place to relax. Now heading for the hills with no valleys. Okay, now I'm going up the hill and it's quite steep. Not that steep, but quite steep. I'm hoping the view will be worth it. I can see light at the end of the tunnel. Ready for the reveal. Yes. Check that out. I'm still going up. I'm not yet at the peak. Trust me. This is going to be very, very rewarding. Yes. Check this. That is so beautiful. And finally, I can say. I have seen Lake Nakuru, even though I'm not allowed to enter it without a car. So yeah, this is still very worth it, honestly. That is the main highway, A104. Not sure about anything here. Yeah, this is beautiful. Look, okay, I think I'm 
finally at the end of the hill yeah after that place now it's just descending so no need to go that other side so this is the topmost part or the topmost part rather of this hill and it looks so beautiful This is worth every shilling, yes. So here's the interesting thing, I was looking online about this place. I could just Google the activities to do in Aguru. But I wanted something that is also close to the town, so this is what came up. And it's only like three kilo, four kilometers away from the town. So I just took a border border to come here. And it only costs 100 shillings on the gate. Actually online I saw it cost 500 shillings per person adult. But funny enough, when we reached the gate, I asked them, they're telling me it's only a hundred shillings. So basically, that's what it costs. And for these views, honestly, I mean, this is very worth it. Yeah, it's so worth it. Like, it looks so nice. There's nothing to complain about here. Actually, you can even say it's under price, but it's like, But the view, this is very nice. Yeah. So I think I'm just going to wait for a few minutes and see the sunset. It's already 4.52. So I'll just check that if I can wait, maybe then get some few shots before I leave. Then we'll do the second part of this video, which will be going to the cheapest hotel that I could find online in Akuru. But uh, of course I have to consider that there are some, there are some local hotels which I got, but they say that uh, they are fully occupied which were maybe cheaper with the 100 shillings difference so for today i think that will just do we can be able to you know gauge because usually i usually say it's better to you know spend little on where you're sleeping it's not really a must to pay like 9000 shillings or even 10000 shillings to sleep you can just spend like 2000 shillings per night to sleep but then the remaining balance you can use it to move around a lot you know see more places in a day or even two days or three days so there are two schools of thoughts there there are people who prefer like you know maybe it's just a trip you want to go and just you know chill so for that yes it makes sense going to a high-end hotel and all that but if you just want something basic you know maybe you've just been overworked and you feel you want to you know like see a new place you know to help you jog your mind i think this is the perfect thing to do you just look for a cheap place then uh, do more activities so basically that's what i've done today i just came from nairobi and around in nakuru around 3 pm and uh, by tomorrow evening i'll be going back to nairobi so it was just like a one day getaway i just wanted something very simple and this is this so far has been perfect like i've only visited one place but so far it has been perfect i've also walked around nakuru town which has also been fine from the last time i was in nakuru a lot has changed yeah so i think i'm going to shoot a few time lapse here then leave in a few Okay, now I'm currently leaving the museum place is using a back door that I found on top of the hill. So it's a very rocky route, like you can see behind me. Check that. I was up there, so currently going down. And the place looks very sketchy. Like I would have just used the normal route, but this looks more interesting. It's very rocky. Check that. I have switched to my phone. The other camera died as usual. Like we just need devices that last with battery a whole day. Once upon a time, battery was measured by number of days and weeks. Nowadays it's measured by hours. How times have changed. And I think that is the only breakthrough we really need right now. Battery life. Since all phones are the same. Or maybe it's just me and my thoughts. Look at this route. 
I'm sure I will eat. It's like those places that we shall go where Nanda do from Para Road, then when you go back home, you eat the entire time. And your mom will be like, Come talk happy. Come talk about Brian, Kuchaza. <laughs> okay, I'm finally down the hill. Now, this is called a Neolithic burial mound. I think what it means basically is like it's a place where somebody was buried, maybe like centuries or thousands of years ago. And that's where I was on top of the hill. But that's where I was. So I just came down the hill through this route. And that's it. So now I'm just heading to the main town, maybe for supper first. Then I can go to the hotel. I don't know, I just usually think hotels sell overpriced things. Especially when it comes to food, because they know you're desperate and you really need it. So it's better to go to the main town first and eat. Then maybe see Nakuru town at night. So then I go to the hotel, which is by the way, the cheapest hotel I could find online. That is, I compared uh, Airbnb, Booking.com and uh, Jumia Travel. So of all these three sites, I wanted to get the cheapest. I think there's another hound burial ground. And there's another one here. Another burial ground, I think. It's called, uh, okay, there's this unwritten Iron Edge Settlement. So anyway, uh, <coughs> I compared those three sites because I think those are the most popular sites that people use. So from those three sites, I got the cheapest one. There was one which was cheaper at around uh, 800 shillings, but it had already been booked. So I can't use that. This is the road that I used with the border border. So yeah, let's head to the main town. How much? Isha chome kosa, amone kausha. So I'm at a restaurant called uh, Majin's Restaurant and this is their menu. It's quite affordable actually and I think they have a variety of stuff. You can see some biryani, chicken pieces, this chicken chicken masala, vegetarian corner, yeah, steaks. They also have browns. Yeah, they have browns. But that is very expensive, about 1500 shillings. A bunch of drinks, snacks, cakes, just the normal stuff. So let me try this and see how it goes. I have ordered uh, chicken biryani and it's spiced. Yeah, that's it. Majid. Looks like a cool place. The food is finally here. Biryani. With mutton, nothing special, but it's always a very nice delicacy. It's nice too. Huh? 
and it's a clean slate. Yes, we are done. That food was awesome. Now I'm extremely tired. I'm just thinking of going to the hotel and sleep because I was awake, I think around seven, which is not usually my waking up time. So I just want to go and sleep, and tomorrow is another day. So hopefully I'll be able to do another activity tomorrow, then go home. But so far, the day has been great. And now for the second part, let's go to the hotel and see how it looks like.